today we will be talking about the modified Laurel suture. So it's really good that we went over the horizontal matches the last time because this is pretty much very similar to that. You'll see what I mean once we get started. Alright, so you can see over here that this is the horizontal mattress suture that we talked about last time. You can see that it inverts the flap, but there's nothing to close the actual incision right here. You see that? You can actually still kind of pull the incision apart that way. Okay, so what you can do is you can put um, a simple interrupted over it or you can do the modified Laurel suture that I'll show you right now. It's very similar to the horizontal mattress that I showed um, last time. So let me cut this off. All right, let's do the modified Laurel suture here. Remember, it's like a box just like you would with the horizontal mattress, you go in from the buckle. Now you exit out of the lingual flap. Okay, now you go back from the lingual. the buckle flap I wish I had pickups and get the idea out the buckle flap here and now you have this loop so what makes it the modified Laurel suture instead of the horizontal mattress is simply passing this needle through the loop like so Okay. You got your tail end of the suture here and you pull and they'll all come together. See that? Comes together super nicely. Now what you do is you want to tie it to the suture. like you would with any knot. I'm trying to conserve the suture, it's so short. Okay. Yay. Almost. There you go. So this Modify Laurel suture is great for GBR um, implant sites. You see how it's got the line in the middle there and it's still got that um, box kind of like the horizontal mattress but that line goes through it so this is what makes it the modify Laurel suture